So I'm always one that's game for doing really odd builds. And ever since I was a kid watching Miami Vice, I've wanted one of these Ferraris, the Ferrari Daytona. And really I wanted the Daytona Spider like what they had on the TV show. But this is as close as we can get in a video game. So I'm going to take this and we're going to make a drag car out of it. I don't know if it's going to be a fast drag car. I kind of doubt it. But we're going to make a car that we take to drag races and just see what happens. So let's begin the drag Daytona. Now, first thing with the drag Daytona is I'm kind of low on credits right now. And I'm not going to go sell a bunch of stuff. So we're going to try to keep it somewhat to a budget. Uh, let's see what our options are. Stock powertrain, or we can switch to a 4.5 liter V8, which, uh, wow, 41,000 credits to do that. It does increase our peak power quite a bit. Looks like, uh, oh, what am I looking at here? Dun, 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 letter G's. Takes a couple of tenths off the zero to 60 time. Still slow for the most part. Um, but it looks like it takes us up slightly over 500 horsepower. So, gosh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Let's see what our other options are here. We can do the turbo, which is only 1600 credits. And we can go with the positive displacement supercharger, which is 1300. Uh, neither one of them are going to net us nearly as much as the engine swap. So, but of course, on any of the cars, I always like to go with all-wheel drive on anything I do, no matter what. So, I'm, unless it's a drift car. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with the all-wheel drive. I'm going to spend the money on the uh, engine swap. Now, let's see what we have available. We can still turbo it. We can no now we use a centrifugal supercharger instead of a positive displacement. Um, wow, big horsepower difference in in this case here. So we're going to go with the twin turbos. So now we have swapped the engine to the 4.5 liter V8, twin turboed it, and converted to all-wheel drive. Let's just go through here and do everything we can see how far our wallet lets us go we should be able to get most of it done though cars up to an A class now probably not going to get much higher than that by the looks of things we'll do the brakes on the drag car even because they uh, from from my experience, the drag brakes oftentimes are lighter weight. Drop this car down in the weeds. You know, I'm not going to worry about sway bars right now. Um, this all just adds weight. Let's go mid-grade. And of course, in reducing weight, let's take it all out. Tires, of course, we want the stickiest tires we can get. Ooh, nine grand. Um, we'll go as fat as we can go. And for our rims, we want to get the lightest weight rims we can get. And what's a drag car without weld wheels on it? So I'm just going to go straight to the two weld options on this game love these and I don't want to max them all the way out 21's on drag car doesn't make sense but uh, uh, maybe some 17's maybe 18 on the back wow 
What do we have for body modifications here? Hmm. Do I like that? I think we're going to just take everything off. The back. Don't really care for the wing. Oh, I guess this takes off the bumpers. Yep. Oh, it kind of looks like a Jaguar now. So, do we have the money? Yes, we've got the credits. Dropped about 450 pounds. Gained 509 horsepower. And increased our lateral G's a little bit. Uh, now we're up to an S2 class. Which is great for what we want to do here. I'm going to quickly paint this thing up, put a little bit of livery on it. Can't have a car going out running around looking stock. Hmm. That looks good. But is it what we're looking for? No, don't think I like the, the matte black color. Don't like any of the crazy looking stuff. That's kind of cool if you're into that. Manufacturer's colors. Ooh. Not a big fan of this type of color, but it kind of gives the car a subtle type of look to it. Black, I love the way black looks on cars, but it has a real problem with kind of hiding a lot of the car's characteristics and not letting it uh, not letting it pop, not letting the curves pop out, body lines and such. So a lot of times for a really good looking car, it's best not to go with black, even though deep down everybody likes a black car. So just made this event and I pretty much narrowed it down where you have to use an old Ferrari or, or something to that effect. And just listening to the people in the free room, <laughs> uh, nobody seems to be real happy with it. Let's go. Which is kind of funny. Oh, some people joined. Let's play. Oh, they're not going to win this one. Can beat anything. He's not gonna beat the Maserati. Maybe, maybe. Here we go. We're actually gonna win a race. Oh, that's not how we play. <laughs> okay. I got what I came for. What was he like with a change? Ah, 23.8 for that little yeah, car, isn't whatever. it? Go on, Not terrible. Ah, tough. Well then, clutch trick. <laughs> Only because you've got a faster car, though. Well, of course it's drag racing. <laughs> you've seen how it works as a drag car. Stay tuned, and I will do a drift build on this car coming up next thanks guys I appreciate you watching I hope that you'll like the video and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel join us as we grow be a part thanks and have a great day